Fresh off that press. What's the difference between a hot cake and a hot take? It's the C. Oh, yeah. Hot cakes hit your Monday morning hot cakes. Uh, two for ten or one for five on your low five Monday hot cakes. Get them all they hot. La 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 la. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everyone, to the low five. <clears throat> This morning's news, fresh off that press, from Santa Barbara, Santa Fe, Ohio. It's 8 a.m. Where are you? W-W-L-O-F-I. Lo-Fi Palace, uh, coming at you. Michael Pickering here talking about our famous question. What's going on in the world today? And straight to it, no time to stall or study in my step. Let's go. Out in Ukraine, Banksy's graffiti, some hella awesome art out there in the middle of a war zone. And sure enough, some people were arrested trying to steal it. Like they really cut the graffiti off the wall. And this kind of stuff gets me mad to no end, people. But no profanity or vulgarity out of my mouth this time. But they were caught stealing illegal graffiti in a war zone. If that isn't some twists and turns of the underground art world for you, I don't know what is. Now, out towards space and in space, China sent their first full crew of three astronauts to their brand new space station. And this is totally awesome, cool people. I mean, more space stations and more people in space is just going to help us progress faster as a species. Something we are sorely in need of, my friends. Sorely, sorely. Now, out in El Salvador, an update to the state of emergency that's been going on since March of this year. The city-slash-town of Soyapongo has been surrounded by 10,000 soldiers and police. Look, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to something like that. You know, the government says they're doing this to seek out and arrest more gang members, and the government says it's working and they've arrested so many people that the gangs are losing their power in the country. And El Salvador is simultaneously losing its democracy. But what do you do? You know, violence and instability and gangs on one hand and freedom and democracy on the other. Eyes open on El Salvador, people. Eyes open. When you surround a town with 10,000 soldiers and police, That's a statement. But a little bit closer to home on this next one, out in the U.S., that's the U.S. of A., the Senate passes the Respect for Marriage Act, looking to protect same-sex marriage in the country in case the Supreme Court wants to act like they did this summer on abortion and simply overturn laws. And eyes on this, people, for the letters of the law are in the law. And this one, this one is worded in a very particular kind of way. Read it, people. It's worth your time. And a little lo-fi local to send you on your way for the day. It is most certainly that time of year. The end of the semester blues got us all. Senior writers, the fall funk, the I don't give a damn anymore, whatever you want to call it. Call them what you will. They have arrived. Research papers, presentations, projects, final exams. You can feel it in the air. You can taste it in the wind. The stress keeps you up, but doesn't keep you focused. You feel yourself slipping. Falling back into the eternity of darkness that fatefully grips us all. Oh, to hell with that. Wake your ass up. I got you, people. Don't decline in disarray and disrepair. Open your eyes to sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns. I love me some unicorns. Now you know. Long walks on the beach. Mm Mm-hmm. Whistling for no reason. Oh, yeah. Being loud in quiet places. Oh, one of my favorite things to do. People just call out and say, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do whatever you got to do to get you through which is upon us. Because you know how it goes. We are always here for you. Send us your words, people, right on into the show. And we'll read them on air. What's your end of the semester message you want to send out? Everybody wants to hear your voice. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Check out Friday's blog post on lofipolyside.com. Follow us on Instagram. Connect to us on LinkedIn, people, for all your local lofi updates. And hey, it's not a cliche or a catchphrase. It's a lifestyle. Always remember that lofi poly is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you tomorrow, Lo-Fi listeners. Pickering, signing off.